You know, the number one thing people do not do before they get into a new relationship after their relationship ended is they don't do the 360 method. You know, we pay a lot of attention to spotting red flags and spotting green flags and getting our dating profile to sparkle, but we don't spend enough time working our energy. What does that mean? Energy meets energy. It's, it's unconscious. That's why we come together and we feel connection with someone and we're willing to overlook all kinds of things because the connection feels so amazing. But we really want to look at our part in a relationship, no matter how toxic the other person is and say, huh, why did I find that appealing? Why did I lie to myself? Why did, why did I ignore that red flag? And we do it with compassion, not criticism. We didn't get up in the morning and go, oh, I'm gonna screw my life up by staying with this awful person. No, we were doing the best we could. But when we find the courage to be curious about our choices in that connection and continuing that connection to a point it actually harmed us, we're going to learn a lot about ourselves. We're going to broaden our self-awareness, but most importantly, we're going to raise our frequency. We authenticate ourselves to ourselves because we become more powerful. We become more magnetic. So rather than inch along and keep bumping into a uh, different circumstance, same type of person over and over, we can really up level and go from um, a toxic situation to a healthy situation and something that really causes us to feel treasured and adored. So learn to do the 360, be curious, be compassionate, and it will not let you down.